I was diagnosed with chronic lymphocytic leukemia, or CLL, over 12 years ago. And my experience is similar to that of a lot of other patients. Uh, I'd noticed some small bumps on the back of my neck, wasn't sure what they were. I had some routine blood work done, including a complete blood count, or CBC, and it showed an elevated lymphocyte count. Uh, pretty quickly, that was followed up by a hematologist who did a flow cytometry and that showed that my cells were indeed clonal or CLL. I really had no symptoms other than some small lymph nodes that weren't really causing me any problems, and that was my story for the beginning of the first year or so. But about a year later, I noticed some small red dots on my lower legs. Again, I had some blood work uh, done, and being a physician myself, um, I was actually on call when the blood test came back, and I'll never remember that, uh, I'll never forget that phone call. I got a call and said, Dr. Kaufman, we have a critical blood level on Dr. Kaufman. And my platelets at that time were single digit. Normally your platelets should be over 150,000. The platelets are what are involved in preventing bruising, bleeding issues. I had a relatively rare complication of CLL, an autoimmune condition called ITP or immune thrombocytopenic purpura, where my immune system attacks my body's own platelets. Uh, that led to multiple hospitalizations for recurrent problems with very low platelets and bleeding issues, I included multiple treatments, uh, an emergency splenectomy, major internal hemorrhage where I lost half my blood volume, and I ended up going uh, to a first remission transplant, an allogeneic hemopoietic stem cell transplant or bone marrow transplant to try to resolve the issue once and for all. My particular brand of CLL was quite aggressive, uh, and it tended to be the kind of CLL where the lymph nodes grew. I grew quite in large lymph nodes where I actually had to grow a beard to hide my lymph nodes from my patients. Um, they got quite uncomfortable in my groin and in my armpit and my neck. But my counts were never that bad except for the low platelets. My white counts did gradually climb. I did have prognostic testing done and it showed poor markers suggesting that my disease would be aggressive. My hematologists were not always in agreement about the best possible treatments for my CLL, and that's common in a disease where the treatment landscape is rapidly changing and there's new therapies that were being offered. 